if if you have good internet in the city, it doesn't mean that your house that is close to the city has it. But how much would that cost versus how much it will benefit the city? There's less and less people in remote areas. The people tend to aggregate the words. And it's true that as we move to this information age, when more, more and more of the things are offered as a service, the problem is when you have internet, you don't need to be in the city as much and because of the housing problem. But there's a natural motion towards people going back, finding houses in more remote areas and regions. Some of those places are losing on the ability of attracting those talents. Sometimes these people come from that area, they just want to go back. Sometimes it's a new adventure for them. But if internet is not servicing it, then it's not an option. They're not going to buy a house here if internet is really bad or really expensive. Because I've seen those little initi initiatives all through Europe of trying to attract those digital nomads, that very specific talent pool, saying, hey, we can give you a very affordable cost of life in that area. Uh, we'll be really happy to have you live there, not just as a tourist, but actually live here and spend your dollars. And in some cases, what you see with specifically digital nomads, which is on the rise, is it's a Usually, a lot of those people have a fairly good financial condition. They make fairly good bucks, especially if they can relocate in more remote areas. If you take a place like Les Îles de la Madeleine, where internet high speed got for the first time accessible a few months ago, but it's still $100 a month. I'm not even sure it's an amazing internet, but let's assume that a, a small city decides to make sure that they have good internet speed across their territory. Because if if you have good internet in the city, it doesn't mean that your house that is close to the city has it. But how much would that cost versus how much it will benefit the city? And I'm pretty sure that the government is losing money here. Financially, I don't think it makes sense. But overall, you can provide a second life to those communities, to those economies. And maybe that's where over a 10 year, 20 year horizon, that's probably where it makes a bit more sense.